Good morning, this is Crystal Woods with Seasons in the Vine and it's Fresh Friday. And today I wanna to talk about what do you do when there's no way around something, there's no shortcut, uh, there's no way to kinda jump to the side and scoot your way out of something. Uh, there's been so many times in my life where I've just hit that place of like, there's no way out of this, the only way is through it and I'm just going to have to keep walking. And that's what I wanna to talk to you very briefly about today is we just keep walking. We get up as people of God, we look at what's before us, we put the truth of who our God is, our wonderful Father, our undefeated King, and our close comforter, Holy Spirit, all around us. We get our armor on and we walk and we walk and we walk one day at a time, one step at a time, through whatever is in front of us, whatever is around us. Because sometimes there just is no way, there is no other way other than straight through. And um, you guys remember that really great movie, Finding Nemo, and Dory, she has that saying, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And it's the same idea, like we're not going to get to the other side any other way except by walking to it. And so we just keep walking and that's what I feel like I'm doing. I have standing orders. I know I'm standing firm and I'm waiting upon the salvation of the Lord. And what do I do every day though? Because every day it looks the same. I keep walking. I teach my mind to uh, receive the truth of God. I teach my soul to bless Him as I walk. I sing songs in the waiting. Um, I pray and I hang out with the Lord. I don't need to look for Him. He's right here. Um, but am I awake to that? And part of the walking is being very aware of his provision, even this day, his closeness, even this day. You know, when the Israelites were wandering in the desert because of their obedience, had they just done what the Lord had told them to do, they wouldn't have had to wander, but they didn't. And so even if you're in a situation that you've brought about yourself, uh, oh boy, I've done that so many times where it's like things are really bad and it was something that you know I brought about into my own life and there was just there's no way around it you just have to keep walking you have to keep going through it every day just get up and just keep going and and when you look back you know you'll be like wow I made it <laughs> I made it I didn't know if I would when I started but I just kept walking and there's something so powerful and steadfast in walking and saying like, today I'm not going to look back, I'm just going to keep going forward. I'm going to, you know, throw off everything that hinders and just keep my eye on the future, keep my eye on the King, and I'm just going to keep walking the direction that He's put before me. But back to the Israelites, when they were wandering, even in their own disobedience, they their clothing didn't run out, their sandals didn't run out, they had all their food provided for them, um, water provided for them. And so in your walking, look for the provision of God that day. Don't focus on what you might need tomorrow or the weeks to come or the months to come or the years to come, but look at what's around you today and praise him for it today. Um, and really just have that be your encouragement. Sometimes it really is okay for it to be small things. Um, and then lo and behold, you just keep walking. I've been in situations before where um, I didn't do anything wrong and it was just the most horrific, horrible situation. Um, so much pain emotionally uh, in, in lots of different levels and grieving and loss. And you're like, wow, this is so big. And in the appeal is to lay down and die in it, to just, to just lay down and give up. But that's not what people of God do because we're not people that faint at trial and troubles. We're people that have the victory of Jesus living in us. <laughs> we're people of resurrection. And so we're people that are made to walk. And I'm always astounded in such a beautiful way 
at how I can look back and say, I remember the pain of that. I remember the sorrow. I remember thinking like, I would do anything to get out of this. Um, but you can't, you know, especially with loss, like things that are lost, like you just actually have to grieve them. And you, you just have to put one foot in front of the other and every day just meet the Lord in that place. And he will bind your heart. He will bind up your life. He will bind up the broken places because that's what he does. And that's what we believe and that's what we know. As Christians, we have this amazing gift to have the Lord strengthen us to just keep walking, to keep the faith. Don't take on thoughts that are too high for you. Don't worry about all the different ways that you think you'll need care in the future. Just take it for today. And what do you need to see from him today? How is he going to meet those needs today? How has he already met them? And just keep walking. You just keep walking. So be blessed and get to walking and don't stop because he's with you and he's already ahead of you. He's covering everything behind you. He's providing for you, even in this walking. And we don't lay down and die in things. We stand up and we walk right out of whatever trial or situation that we are in. And he heals us along the way. He binds us up along the way. He gives us a good future. Um, even if it looks different than what we believe is good, that's where our faith gets tested so beautifully. And we begin to exchange what he says is good for what we think is good. And we walk out of these situations and we're different and we, and we're healed. And how did we do that? Well, we didn't lay down and die. We just kept walking with the Lord. So be blessed and I'll see you next week.